Good afternoon, Dan Lusinski, Dark Angel Cutlery. I'm uh, here today in the shop and I have a uh, nice little EDC knife here. This is a uh, Japanese 16 layer Warkonomi. It's a Hitachi Blue Core 2 steel with uh, our Dark Angel Cutlery mark and a really nice profile on it. And what we're gonna be doing here is dipping it in uh, ferrochloride to give ourselves a, uh, an etch and we'll reveal our layers in the steel. So what we do here, we have our, our, uh, our ferrochloride mixture, our four to one mixture here, ready to, ready to go. And we also have some uh, ammonia in a, in a water uh, dilute to uh, neutralize the acid after we do our dip. I also have some glass cleaner, which is basically the same thing, just very, very uh, watered down. And uh, let's give it a go. We'll see what we got. So we'll see the, uh, the, uh, the reaction almost instantaneously. So the longer we leave it in, the deeper it'll etch. But for a, uh, a sand mine or a multi-layer steel like this, it's only going to etch the, uh, the high carbon steel or the core of the blade. So the outer, outer edge of the, or the outside of the knife isn't really going to take an etch because it's stainless. Now pull it out and see what we got. Beautiful etch there. So cameraman, if you want to zoom in and take a look at what we got there. That is a Japanese Warkonomi 16 layer Hitachi Blue Core 2 steel. And we're gonna give it a neutralize with the glass cleaner. Stop the, uh, the acid corrosion process. And that will neutralize the acid almost immediately. And then we're gonna give it a dip in the uh, ammonia and water. And we're just gonna wipe that off. So that neutralizes the ferrochloride and leaves us with our, our final etch. And we'll be polishing this blade up well and help give it a help get a little of that carbonization off there. So a little of the some of the dark spots that are on the outside. That's just uh, carbonization on the surface. Um, and a lot of times you can just wipe it off or buff it off. Um, I'll take a little uh, steel wool later and get it off the rest of the way. But uh, that reveals our, our etch and our layers in the steel and also the core of the steel. Uh, this is a, a hollow ground knife, so you're gonna see a lot more of the core than you would on a, on a different knife that hasn't been uh, hollow ground or like a flat grind will reveal more of the, uh, the in-between layers. And I'm real happy with that. Uh, this has been hand sanded to 600 grit, I wanna say. I also have a, a flat ground uh, version of the same steel. Um, there are still some scratches in the blade on the finish, so I'm still doing a little more hand sanding with this, but uh, maybe we'll go ahead and, uh, and give this a quick reveal too while we're doing our video. And then I can go back and finish my hand sanding after. I figure while we're at it, why not? Now this will give you an idea of uh, the different types of grinds and how they reveal the layers. I'll just give this another spray real quick. Make sure I don't get my cord. I can hear that neutralize the acid almost immediately. Kind of fizzes up as it uh, as the ammonia and the glass cleaner neutralizes it. And we'll go ahead and stick it in our ammonia concentrated mix here. Make sure we neutralize every bit of it. And those layers are nicely etched. Really happy with that. Looks good to me. Yeah. Like I said, there's still some uh, some small surface scratches in this ed in this uh, in the bevels of this blade. So I'll probably do do some more hand sanding on this. I didn't know if the etch would cover up some of the scratches or not, but it's nice to get a little preview of what we're what we're looking at. And uh, still some work to go on this blade, but uh, this will get uh, some all thread connected here or. Uh, well, uh, welded on there and then we'll have a nut uh, connected to our pommel and this will be a through tang knife uh, or a takedown knife it won't require any epoxy in the handle it'll just be all mechanically fastened but um so we got to make a guard for that and uh this will get some handles today and i'll be moving on with this one so again thanks for looking and thanks for tuning in give this another 
dip. A little more solid of a reveal. So every time you go back in, you gotta re-neutralize this, get the acid off. And the Windex isn't always a necessary thing. A lot of times just uh, dipping it in a, uh, a concentrate like this with some ammonia, running it under cool water is usually enough. You see all the black come off as I do that. So this is uh, this one's a done deal. We'll just make sure we get everything off. So I'm real happy with that etch. It's nice and dark. Probably go through and uh, and buff this up a little bit. And that's a nice looking EDC. Make a good hunter. So we'll get some handles on this. It's going to get a custom pin. It's going to get uh, also uh, two, four, eight pins, uh, one eighth inch pins, and also a, uh, a lanyard tube in the bottom. So lots of pins in this one, lots of brass hardware. Give a little weight to the handle. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Again, I'm Dan Lucinski, Dark Angel Cutlery. Appreciate you watching. And uh, that's a ferrochloride etch. Take care.